Lord, how you doing? It's my wife, Dawn. Now, let's just see this for a minute here. You like the whole thing? Wow, look at that. Yeah, let me hold you guys. Start getting this trophy out, Claude. Boy, look at this. Back in the 20s? Well, 1900, 1906. 1906. Uh, yeah. So this is what it's all about. That's what it's all this about. This is what you put on the skates for and, and break your back ev every night of the year. Exactly. And, uh, and, and you finally won it this year. Yeah. Was it as big a thrill as it was the first time you won it when you banged that other Where's guy the football? into the glass, you know? I mean, the impact sounds horrendous. Uh, what does it feel like? It's tough. Uh, it's not like... Is that what... When I read that, I didn't understand that they said that... Uh, that you're despised by your mm -hmm. teammates? You seem like a nice guy, Claude. <laughs> but, I mean, you're some kind of a monster I, when you're on the ice? I think that's probably uh, started years ago when I... Now, tell me the truth. Tell I, me I, the, if you I sleep in a little shorty pajamas, tell me. I you? don't have a problem with your pajamas. <laughs> a I can't sit He's a hot guy, no doubt about it. This is a beautiful trophy. I, I have seen the, the Stanley Cup many times, but I've never Very seen pretty. the most valuable player. Uh, trophy here, and it really is. Uh, One touch, you were here. Yeah. Yeah. Rob, so good to see yeah. you. Yeah. Jack Lane back there. Yeah. He's gonna do. I think he can do this later. There you go. <laughs> God, he's in shape. Everybody's right showing there. Me something today. First you of know, all, it is a correction, though, Reed. I that? was the first person to have women work out with weights. <laughs> well, you're really. It was in 1991. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, no, I should yeah. be asking for you. Yeah, Sly yeah. knowing Thank that you, he yeah. needs you. Thank you, Sly. <laughs> Sly, good to young comic. <laughs> and he just, uh, when he saw that I was still breathing, he just looked down and went, Welcome to Action Pictures. <laughs> <laughs> and it's true, it's, yeah, working out. Here you go, Mr. Sloan. <laughs> so, uh, can you do his voice? Yeah, I, I do. Uh, I, I could do him. Uh, Said in the future, the world's coming apart. Everybody's under stress. Apparently, yeah, it's very bleak in the future. Mm -hmm. Apparently, bad getting... things are going to happen. Uh, but it's uh, it's a big city. Uh, you're a basement kind of guy. Yeah, I am. Um... All right, when we get back, we'll show you a clip. And Joy's yeah. going to leave now and get dressed. Right? Yeah. Get out of my leotard. Oh yeah. I need a lot of time. All right. Okay. <laughs> These uh, newfangled telephones. Oh, uh, just that driving it crazy, crazy, don't they? Crazy. Tell me the truth. Do you have problems with them? Can't answer. Who'd have thought? Who'd have thought they were hoping they were doing that? Well, that's your second movie with him, isn't it? Uh, he was a, a, a well, let me tell you. <laughs> that wasn't I, your I first lunched. film, though, was it, Tom? I remember you started Bosom Buddies on television, yes. and then you made the Thank jump. <laughs> No, every time we, we saw it on the playback when we were shooting yeah. the... Oh, gosh, <laughs> absolutely. we got to pause. We'll come right back and uh, talk some more. It is the key for me. And you remember that particular flight? Oh, yes, yeah. I, uh, um, I lived on the... What was it like when you went flying with Jim Lovell? I, I just read a little bit of the story. But... Well, if you spend any time with Jim... Did you get sick? Well, the plane is called the Vomit Comet for a uh, very... And you didn't take your medication, weren't you? Well, now look, offered you know, something? here's the deal. Yes. Here's the, uh, okay, go ahead. Tom. It was painful. It was, it was uncomfortable. Well, mm -hmm. But now look, all these nice things are happening to you. These great roles are coming your way. You're being honored everywhere. I don't know if you have seen this particular honor you received. I mean, I know you were there, but whether or not you saw the movie version of it. Uh, at Harvard, you know, every year they, uh, oh, oh, they yes. award a hasty uh, pudding man, uh, give him, uh, make him a, an award for the year, and you were that guy. Man of the year, yes I Although was. Although even your best friends wouldn't recognize you. Anyway, well, let's take a look at what they did up at Harvard with Tom Hanks. You, with the official... you know, I figured out why they give that out every year. It, it's essentially an excuse for undergraduates to wear... Sure shoes. they do, they... too. But oh, you look very wow. comfortable, especially with that wig, and you had a little flair to throwing it back over yeah. your shoulder. <laughs> You know, as you, I don't know if you know this yourself, Regis, but once you put on a wig and high heels, it, it's like riding a bike. You really never... <laughs> you never well, get the... Uh, Kill your scene from Apollo 13 in the morning. What, a, what an endearing character, you know, mm -hmm. and I, I think he's going to be an enduring character, too, because people will... Be, there's going to be a sequel, though, I hear. Well, I, the, the studio would love us to do a sequel. What that had to well, do with the Academy Awards? Well, anyway, it was entertaining. It was a lot. I'm telling you, that dog sure could spin. Uh, you know, <laughs> she's, she's in a movie that uh, Demi Moore produced called... Uh, uh, now. All right. 
Let's show a clip now from Apollo 13 opening today. Here you are with uh, Bill Paxton and Kevin Bacon up there in space in big trouble. And your nerves are wearing oh, yes, thin, yes. Tom Hanks. <laughs> Here we go, Apollo 13. Now, wait a minute. A haunting sound. What a lovely voice. Thank yes, you. Juliana Hackett and I will be right back in just a moment to talk to you. Leanna Hatfield and Lisa Mednick. You know, I haven't uh, heard an accordion in the background of a, of a vocal. So how do you like your you, new stardom? Um, did I have famous? No, no, no. You've got, you've got uh, gigs. You've got a new yeah. outfit. fashion look. She <laughs> likes it. Yeah. All right, Juliana. Good luck to you. Lisa, thank you. All right, we'll be right back in a moment. Let's go. Yeah. What? I was just looking at his tie. Isn't that, is that, that Houdini nice? on your tie? No, it's... Uh, some Guy keeps winning. <laughs> now, Harry's married to a mentalist. I sure am. You know what a problem that can be? And she knew you were going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> but the woman reads your mind? Well, she sure does, keeps she, you in line, then, doesn't she? She did an act for, uh, for a number. This is one of Harry's greatest <laughs> tricks of yeah. all time. Going to yeah. be done with a flourish. Thanks. This is a professional. Yeah. Stand back. This Thanks is really dangerous. Setup. Let's watch it very carefully, Joy. That's the funniest Joy. joke you've ever heard. Um, okay. Let's see how he does. Now, the handcuff trick went over so big last time. I came on did a, you know, a handcuff escape that I'm going to try this again. This is a new set of cuffs, practically pick-proof. I'm going to try my escape, OK, from these cuffs. You hold on to those. I am going to do this in one minute. In one minute. Oh, no watch. You got to watch. I yeah, don't have watch. a second hand. Oh, well, let's, uh, Gelman's got a watch. We have one. Well, there's one right there. Yeah, there's a clock right there. No, 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 I need a watch. I really need a watch. It's not to keep the time so that we have a little something at stake here, all right? I slip. Let me, let me get this straight. What's in here? <laughs> What's in here? We'll never know. And you got out of the cuffs well, anyway. And I got out of the cuffs Holy anyway. cow, you'll see more tonight. <laughs> on Harry Anderson's Trips to the Trade Special, CBS, 8 o'clock. Harry. Thanks very much. <laughs> Thank you very much for fun. Are you in mahogany? I felt yes. that you really you do do design yes. some of your own. Yes, piece, don't you? Um, mostly costumes now, not really kind of. That's the old Gloria um, Gaynor song, right? Yes. And really, one of the great anthems of our time, I Absolutely. think. I will survive. I will survive. I chose it just song. because of that. It's a and wonderful you dove song. into the audience. Now, was that you or was that a stunt woman? <laughs> Very true. Well, actually, it was a truly a night of a thousand. So, I would play Billy. They'd set me on fire. <laughs> and I remember my mother, God bless her, she would, she would say, still seeking help. <laughs> As well, yeah, he should. That yeah. Was a <laughs> yeah, that tough was a scene tough to watch. One. But anyway, so you're playing this congressman, and you're getting, I mean, a lot of talk about. It. Green was right. That's commanding. <laughs> <laughs> we got a pause. We'll come right back. I'll we'll show you a clip from Scripture. Uh, mm -hmm. I was covered in Vaseline for <laughs> months. <laughs> You kind of sound like you, you enjoyed it. Well, I did, actually. You know what? It goes between your toes. Ooh. Ooh. Really? <laughs> About nine. You feel nine or ten Ooh. years old. Oh, my gosh. All right, well, let's take a look at this clip now from Striptease. Here's Burt Reynolds. How long has this been going on? Oh, about a year and some change. And I'm very happy. I'm so in love. Oh, yeah. He's a wonderful guy. Oh. Yes. I, I did. I did the Fresh Prince show, and I have a lot of respect for him. He's a lovely guy. He really is a real pro. All right, we're going to talk in a second. Okay, we're going to show you a clip from the other professor. <laughs> I thought you were living in Arizona. I, I I'm in. I'm there now. Yeah, she just good. announced to him she's moving oh, to moving. Connecticut. Yeah. I'm going to Luxembourg. Good for you. Be nice to have Billy as a. Yeah. I mean Stephen as a neighbor. <laughs> you sound like Did my you mom. Say Billy. I'm, I'm sure, sure it's like you growing must. Up. You must get that all the time. My mom right? would go out that bit. Sterling says I'll be there at one o'clock. <clears throat> now Jennifer Sacker comes down. My my assistant and says to Joy. The washer dryer are in your apartment right now. They're arriving, yeah. They've arrived, but the guy isn't coming till one o'clock. What should we do, Stephen? Move. <laughs> <laughs> then you'll really want to move. Yeah. <laughs> so there you are. Now, Lawrence Fishburne and you, they're, they're chained through this like whole movie. Like the defiant movie. ones. Yeah, like the defiant yeah. ones. Tony Curtis and Sidney Portier years ago. But, I mean, they're chained. Did you, did you know Lawrence before this film? We had met. Exactly. But you us. did a lot of your own stunts. But it's yeah. got a lot of heart, you know. That's uh -huh. what I like most about it. We did uh, all the fight sequences. Are, are uh, I remember Charles Grodin talking about being being oh, handcuffed yeah. when he to was Robert handcuffed De Niro. With De Niro in, um, and he said, "What was that movie?" Uh, um, Midnight, Midnight Run. Run. Midnight Run. Yes. Oh, there you, go. there you go. And they said, "How do you have to put rages on?" I shoot <laughs> mine right too. Oh, you think? Does it go right over? <laughs> 
What's the problem? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good, right? I well, guess. Let's, let's take a look at a clip now, and here they are, Lawrence Fishburne, Stephen Baldwin. They've just escaped from prison. A scene from Fled. <laughs> Hey, listen, you know you're my favorite Baldwin guy. You know that. And you know you're my very favorite talk show host. Oh, thanks, Steve. Come on back east and, and live near us, okay? All right. Flynn, 